okay, if you're a pursuit, uh, it's going to take a little bit of fiddling to get it to work on on uh, contour mode, but it works really, really well on the uh, AB line. Hit some paths here through the field, and it tracks perfectly straight. I'll put up a picture of the of the track, but uh, yeah, it seems to have worked out a lot of the kings with doing this other technique. So let's go for a drive. Small implement, as you can see, it's like 16 foot wide implement, so just, you know, I don't have to turn so far to get to the next one. So, over here, you have your, your look ahead distance, how many seconds ahead you want to put your goal point at, and it's that's still the same, the minimum pulse width for the darn sure you do not need an integral because this keeps changing. An integral is generally more important in something that's static uh, where a motor will be a few degrees off but since the vehicle is always moving and it does, will always go off track it, uh, I think the eye is completely unnecessary and that's where you get a lot of the issues with um, recovery and oscillation that sort of thing. So it's strictly a PD controller should work quite well. And so here you can, you can see the radius in the circle. And then the radius of the circle will actually follow the radius of the contour line. I think you can go around corners 100 miles an hour or anything like that and work, but that's yet, yet to be tested. But if it works in contour, it works everywhere. So that, that's pretty cool.